I'm Ines Faris Ghannam, uh, holder of bachelor's degree of English education and professional diploma in translation. I love children and I love to, have, to, to play volleyball and tennis. My first mentor was Nancy Krikorian. Um, the, the kind of relationship between us is friendship. We are friends, uh, we started as um, a mentor and mentee and we, we continued like friends now. We're still, we're, we're still having a good relationship. Uh, I keep, I keep uh, sending her emails and tell her what, what I'm doing and she keeps telling me uh, what, what, she's, uh, what she's been doing. When I started to write, I didn't, ha I didn't really understand how, to, how to, to put the things or the ideas in my mind into, into words. And she taught me to show, not to tell. I, I, I used to hear this word a lot, show, don't tell. But then with her, I know that I, I really must be more engaged into, into the story rather than telling the story or telling what I think about it. Among the stories I, I wrote was about a person who decided to, to commit suicide by burning himself. He, he, he told his sister, I'm going to, to kill myself, I, I'm, taking my, I'm taking the petrol and here uh, and I'm taking also the, the lighter. Uh, his sister didn't believe him because she, did, she, she wouldn't expect him. Two hours later, his sister knew from the, from the news that uh, her own brother killed himself using fire. Um, when I started um, drama, they asked us to, to write something about freedom. Uh, and the first thing that came to my mind is a story I know about a uh, uh, country of uh, blind, country of blinds. And then it, it, started to, it started with me and I, I wrote the, uh, my poem that I didn't know it was a poem at the time. Uh, I wrote, I was born blind. I was born blind, but that was okay. For everyone my age was born blind too. My father and mother say they had sight once. They keep telling me stories, fairy tales. If you, if you look at, at all the aid that, came to, that come to Gaza, they are all for the, for the poor, for the, for the um, dis disabled, for the um, elders, all of these, these categories that we are empathized with them. But at the same time, what about the youth? We, 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 we don't have any place to go to, to go to. We don't know how to express ourselves or, to, or, how, or what to do in our lives. So before we are not numbers, I was, and, and that it's, it's still a fact, I, I was not knowing where I'm going. I didn't know, I didn't know what, uh, what I will be doing in five years, for example, from that time. Then um, when I started We Are Not Numbers, I suddenly have a, a goal in my life. I know that I, I can do something. I, can, I have a, a, an, a, an ability and a talent that I can use uh, in a good way, so why not? Why not to, to donate for We Are Not Numbers, or wh why not to, to, to make this project to continue for forever?